Right, it's January the 2nd, 2009, and this is part one of my visit to Ashmore in Dorset, uh, where the Beeling family, uh, part of the tree, lived at some stage. Um, earlier on, they were from Gillingham in Dorset, and so um, I'm under Ernest A. Beeling, and... Um, he married a girl called Hester. Now this is still a mystery. I've got to send off for the the birth certificate to confirm her proper name. She could have been Ada Hunt or a Brockway girl. Um, I'm still working that out. Um, just waiting for the birth certificate of their child to confirm the mother. It's a maiden name. Right, so anyway, this is a live recording I did when I um, stopped off at Ashmore in search of uh, family graves. Right, it's now three o'clock and I've arrived at Ashmore after going down little country lanes. And it's got a beautiful pond here. I've taken some photographs of a beautiful pond. I'm just going out now to have a look around the church. In fact, there's two churches. The other one might be a chapel. I'm taking a picture of a Woodland Chapel built 1855. As you enter the churchyard, four very large, old, I don't know how old they are, but um, very old. You can actually see down inside, underneath these tombs. They're very old though, they don't look very safe. I'm just trying to read who it is. Charlotte. I don't know. Might say inside. In memory of Anne, wife of Joseph Rabbits, who departed this life November the 2nd, 1795, aged 48. She was the mother of ten children, one of whom she left something or other. And Joshua, her fifth son, lies buried aged about nine months. I wonder if it would be open. There's a lot of very large tomb on its side. Great big gaping. And there also the remains of John Adams, rector of this parish, who died October 17th, 1870, age 88. And Maria Adams, wife of Reverend. Very well maintained, a nice shingle pathway all round. Um, I can't remember what you call that sort of stone. Pebbly dash, no, it's not pebble dash, it's something else. Anyway, I'll see if the church is open. Don't even know what it's called yet. any familiar names on there. Let's see if this one's open. Oh yes. Oh two doors. Hope they've got some lights inside. Oh yes. St Nicholas's Church Ashmore. And I can't remember which of Sandy's now, but I've got it all written down. Lived here. I'm buried here. There's a plan of the churchyard. That's interesting. I'll take a picture of that. I'll see if I can turn some lights on. It's actually a plan with names as well. There's a load of switches here. Right, well, I'm not going to be able to get good enough photographs to do all that, but uh, looks like it goes up to at least 294, 300, 301. This was when it was done. This was in 1965. And then there's a key.
key to the plan. I'll just see if there's any names that look familiar. Wait a minute. Um, there's Ellen Rideout. She's in plot 33. Ephraim Rideout, plot 34. For future references. Um, I'm just having a look to see if there's any other names. They're done in alphabetical order as well. Oh yeah, there's a Hester Beeling. Yes, and Ernest. They're buried here. That's brilliant. In plot 105 and 106, there's definitely a, a Hester Beeling. That's really good. Plot 105. And 106. Lots of ride outs. Herbert, Frederick, Eliza, Anna, George, all in plots 248 to 15, no, 148 to 152. And there's another one, Anne ride out in 166. Mabel and Joseph ride out in 107. Ted Rideout in 186, Albert Rideout and Gwendolyn in 207, George Rideout in 220, and Emily Rideout next to him in 221. Then you've got a Charles and Eliza Gray in 226, um, and Alfred Rideout in 249, Mary Rideout in 257. B row E um, and there's some Bradford G T Bradford G Bradford row C P Bradford row C right so the Beelings 105 and 106 I wonder where that is then 105 Go down the path, there's the main road. Sort of then it's next to the path, so that should be handy. One, two, three, four from the end. Not the visible ones. That's brilliant, that is. Right, I'm roaming around the inside of the church now. It's a nice little font for Baptisms. And then there's a plaque saying, Here lies the body of John Mullins, husband to somebody Mullins, a man who feared God, peaceable to his brothers um, and everything. He died in 1652. He had five sons, seven daughters, but his wife could be Lucy. His, she lies here as well. There's a bell. No postcards. Some plaques on the walls. So I'm going to look around. This Ashmore Church of St. Nicholas. Chisholm seems to be Robert Chisholm, Squire. Died in 1838, age 52. More Chisholm's. Another old font there. I don't know if that's used much more. The vestry. And we have one of the steps leading up to the vestry. Here lies the body of some Esquire. Died September age 44. No, age 33. in the First World War. Let's see if there's any names. Got 
Charles Gordon and William Gray, Frank Merrifield and Reginald Merrifield, I don't know if they're related, several rideouts, Edward James, Joseph Harry and Herbert, Plain wooden ceiling, arched, maintained, blue and gold pipe brick on the organ. Yeah, very pretty. There's only one plaque up by the altar. Thomas Davidson, for 17 years rector of this parish, born 1837, died 1897. King Charles Reginald Howard, attached to the King's African Rifles, youngest son of Robert Luke Howard, killed in action in Mozambique, 